think it will be my pleasure to give to the better reference. Thank you. Shall we rise, please? May it please you put up your cup. In Jesus' name. Oh Lord our God, you know why we are here. We call on you to be with us. Don't fall our hand as we used to say. So that at the end of the day, all honor and glory will be unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for this brief and wonderful prayer. Um, on this note, I think I am not. I don't think I'm too fast. My name is Dr. Alex Elevon. I'm the president and founder of Abbey International Film Festival. We are all welcome. My name is Hope Obioma Farah. I'm the festival director of Abbey International Film Festival. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mrs. Simon Manini, and I'm a member. You're welcome to this occasion. I am architect Shudi Odili. I'm a team member of this film festival inauguration. I'm a fan of this is my name, Oblai Nunes Endekun. I am the festival director. Sorry, I am the festival coordinator. Sorry about that. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tony Eyenta, aka 2020 the absent professor. I am a team member. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Chula Sopis Ibabuchi. I'm Abby's writer and a team member. You are all welcome. Thank you. I'm a good day. Distinguished press, distinguished guests, representatives from Abia State Government, members of the press, and fellow filmmakers, you are welcome. We are here today to unveil the inaugural of Abia International Film Festival, ABI, a groundbreaking non-profit organization dedicated to promoting art, culture, and science through motion pictures. This event was born out of my desire to promote art and culture, especially in our time. Having traveled far and wide, I saw the need to bring closer to our people the beauty of outstanding storytelling. One of the major objectives of this festival is to train other youth in various areas in film production to empower them to be self-employed, thereby creating job opportunities within the local communities. We all know that Nollywood is the highest employer of labor in Nigeria, and the functions and activities of this film festival will be very pivotal to the growth and development of youth in Abia State. Having an international film festival in Abia State is long overdue. That is why we took the plunge to put together a team of like minds to create this film festival. We want to thank Mr. Hope Obiyama Opera the president and founder of EGO International Film Festival, who brought in his wealth of experience to be part of this festival as the first, as the festival director of Abia International Film Festival. His experience has spanned over 15 years in organizing his, in organizing his film festival event in Lagos. Mr. Hope is from Omoaya, Abia State. That is why he is passionate about being part of this festival project. We have with us Mr. Wisdom Wanko, a seasoned actor and a film director in the Nigerian film industry, popularly known as Nollywood, who will be of great benefit in the area of training 
and motivating our youth interested in filmmaking. We also have Mr. Anumifla Ndubisi, the National Vice President, Creative Designers Guild of Nigeria, CDGN, who is also a practitioner in film industries and the festival coordinator. We have Mrs. Emonada Chisum Onwaga, the Abbey Legal Advisor. We have Mr. Thompson Nsison Abasa, the Abbey Media and Publicity. We have Ms. Jinomso Peace Ibauchi, the Abbey Team Member and Abbey Writer. We have Ms. Trevor Alexander, the Abbey Team Member. Architect Odile Chudi, the Abbey Team Member. We have Chimopi Ben Okori, the Abbey Member. Abia International Film Festival, we attract filmmakers across the globe who will be part of this event as the summit as they submit their work to premiere here each year. This festival will open another investment opportunity for Abia State in movie industry, attracting big students from communities of nations in film business. Abia will not only celebrate Abia's unique stories and talented storytellers, but also serve as a launch pad to position Abia as a premier tourist destination on the global stage to empower our talented youth. We also want to use this media to appeal to the Abia State Government to partner and support this festival as our international film festival that will showcase our rich cultural heritage to the world, including our beautiful film locations in the state that are yet to be explored. This year, Abia team is cultivating Abia's next generation of film creatives. The question is, are you ready to be part of this Abia's cinematic revolution? Join us to shine a spotlight on Abia's creative spirit and ignite a passion for filmmaking. Long live Abia State. Long live Abia International Film Festival. Thank you for your attention. What are the limits to complement our working governors' efforts to make sure that Abia stands out? When I say stand out, Abia stands out in the League of States, and particularly Omar Yabi, the state capital. We are very lucky to have something like this in Omar Most of its kind. And an international level. When we say international, it's not something that is key only in other states. This will bring in international competitors, international companies, international productions, international actors. And that is unveiling something that will put us at the map of the world. Thank you very much, Mr. President, for having this issue. Thank you for the team, for the wonderful people you have assembled, as I can see with my eyes. Having somebody who has the experience of 15 years in International Film Festival is a plus for me. One day when I'm at home, what I'm doing. <laughs> so, uh, this is a great one. Thank you so much for having us in other states. Thank you. So, I think um, we are fast doing this. Um, it is time we have to unveil and let me give our project director to talk more on this. I think we have to have from his experience. Let me go, come, let me go. Thank you. It's not a good idea for Adia to have a world class international team. This is going a long way in um, exploring other states and in so many areas, including investment opportunity. I think I overheard uh, that the governor has a very huge plan for the team village. And this professor will play a pivotal role to you know, publicize the team village. Because a lot of things happen to the village. There will be film markets, there will be productions coming in, there will be collaborations, there will also be a crossover actors 
maybe a crossword course is like um, they can discover somebody from other states and say, come, come and play a role in a movie in Jamaica or United States. So um, there's a lot to gain having a very international film festival. And um, I strongly believe that we are very lucky to have a government and these things. A government that is very visionary, top notch. We can experience that from all the facets of the state, including this good leadership. We would definitely key into this project. And uh, a lot of things goes on with uh, having an international film festival. Great job opportunities for youth, which is a key important aspect of this. Personally, I'll be receiving inboxes, best messages. They will say, Ask me, Dede, when are you bringing the people's bar to our state? So, when this, uh, this uh, I've got an in, and this has been waste time to keep talking because I know what. Okay, finally, um, we'll be talking to, we're about to unveil the, the film festival, and I think, uh, I, I can appreciate the members of the press that in Craig and Lawyers to be here today, very, very important, because um, the film festival's platforms like this work with the press to disconnect, include the commission, to corporate organizations, to government agencies, to contract a chain of embassies, and also potential investor into the food industry. I don't need all that because uh, I that's a unique member state has so many that place need to be all need to know about it. In fact if you go to our website, it's all about background for the website. We have already started promoting the state. Immediately when the website came up, I told them this very press is very, very important to protect. And uh, let me also use this opportunity to bring the government's attention to that river. That will be a five star hotel around that river. Because tourists, they like to know, they would like to see where do you have blue river in Nigeria. Well, I'm not surprised because Abia is in the Bible. God placed the state on ready before it came up. So, uh, once again, I want to thank the members of our team, all the members of our team, for uh, incredible indulgence to uh, be participate and to be part of this. We are open to volunteers. In fact, we call, we would like to have volunteers in all the local governments of this state. They can talk to the president here, the founder so that we can involve everybody in this world of the Twitter school. It's very, very important. Once again, thank you, and uh, we will do the all very God bless you. God bless our state. You truly came home. This is home, of course. Um, I don't think um, we want to waste your time. This is the time to crack the camera. Main cap while the head was molded, and now we will open it. Hmm? It's time to unveil Abia International Film Festival logo. Now, don't call it there. I will say, at the mention of Abby, at the mention of Abby, you have to you pull. The curtain open. Um, through the grace of God and the extended humanity, I mention A, B, I, A, B. What a beauty, what a beauty. Abia International Film Festival. Team, cultivating Abia's next 
generation of film creatives. Please let us clap at this table. Amazing. I am at the same time very much to brace up there will be challenges because what we set up now is something we have to be up and going to maintain. Challenges will come, I can go. <laughs> you know, it's, I cannot begin the first word that I put the same word. Um, if I can do that for 15 years with another state, we are, not, we are not afraid. We have, you know, all it takes to run an international film festival. And this is more or less more or less. Okay. So the challenges are there, but we are here to work cooperatively with each and every one of us to be able to make this okay, to our us. So that we, at the point in time, unless we say, form well, director, of, like last time we stepped up for your generation to move on with this. Film festival is forever. Let me tell you why. Now, film festival is how many years now? 40 years, right? All science science, 40 years. So, who, who, who started the, those who started those events, there are, some of them are gone. But the thing is still growing. I can remember when they did the festival. Well, that's the festival. One man, one elderly man, 110 years, pressed to the street, they are guiding him. I said, Excuse me, they said he's one of the founders of the country festival. So, I've already told the, um, the president we will have a representative from each local government in the United States. We are going to appoint representatives, representatives so that we will work as a team. We will have cultural day or during the other states. Whereby different cultures, you cannot you cannot remove culture from filmmaking. Because most of the stories that we study telling is based on Things that happens to things that are around us. So we have to be careful to project the image as future heritage. Very, very important. Mr. Wizard, I can tell you that we are ready to take the challenge and we are prepared to promote other states with other international interests. Thank you. Use this medium to appreciate the team members. It has not been easy coming this far. But we thank the Almighty God for His grace upon our life. We have been making plans and efforts, traveling from Omoaya to Lagos. But today we are here, it's a reality. Like the principal director has said, we are ready. If we are not ready, we wouldn't have come like to tell people. And we are seeking the government support to partner with us so that we we'll make, make this dream a reality. Thank you. And whenever you are Exactly, you are trying to build a house. That is the foundation of the people. Every time we protect people, and when we get to the end, we do it Then, having any political dimension is more necessary than to partner with government power. Unless you see things ready to respect, but you, you raise your head high in Lagos, there are no other states. Ten or is four years. I know you will qualify for the five projects four years. It's just because from a, um, a non remember it's a non-profit organization. So, so there's one that is kind of issue. On this platform. Or we will call it corporate to corporate in power. So collaborate and partner with the government. Because good OT is in charge, it's as well as it's in charge. We will go. I know other states is going to be the first time of something that will be a second time based on the person's job. If you continue like this, next election you will not struggle. When he goes, if the next person 
It's unfortunate not to do well. This is his problem. So we are not going to start saying that, oh, this is this uh, first part belongs to this party, it belongs to this party. No. We are playing the role of protecting the state to the Committee of Nations and Big Business, attracting investors to come and invest in other states in the industry. Like I mentioned, I heard from the uh, um, advisor on culture and tourism, uh, tourism and entertainment, that the government, the government is about to establish a privilege. These are the part of the platform that can be able to promote that privilege. Which group I go and I represent the people who see me. I'm very delighted to be here. I, I wanted actually to ask concerning government development because the government is actually inspiring to every development once they turn their back on any project, most of the project is harder to survive. But once they give their green lights, whether they are involved fully or indirectly, it will always cost and also maybe hit so hard. So that's exactly what I wanted to clarify. The involvement of governments are they giving a green light? Even if they needed to give a green light, and even prepare them to give a green light because this this project have already come to stay. This is what people envy and all that are praying that this such project will come to that state. So uh, we are happy and also lucky enough to have such projects in our midst. That is what I want to ask. Follow you on uh, social media, your coverages, and I'm very happy with them. You see now, when I saw a red card I know how important it is. <laughs> so the essence of how many press here is to risk to take this to the government because they're going to see it. We have seen our uh, intentions. We are aware that uh, we are coming up uh, with other international film festival and we strongly believe this was a press building, the first one, the number one edition. I strongly believe that the, that the excellency community will be. This is it. And we support it. He likes, he likes good things. He likes great ideas. That's how he works. And that's why, with little or no time, he has been accepted by other states people. So, this is a creative hub, just like the, um, Mr. Hopp said. It's a creative hub. We are looking for talent. I can tell you that a lot of other people, young guys, have been sending me, but when they see, that's why I want to hear us. They ask me when are we going to have this? And today we have unveiled at the State International Film Festival. Every good city, we also have a role to play. But I see what we do when they are doing roles in our bar. When I do this, uh, you always there. Yeah, even when you come here, say, do you know my last report? This is the grow up. Now it's time for you now to say. I just international film festival have come to be. Organizations, um, cultural activities, the state government through the um, uh, Commissioner for Tourism. I think you guys visited the office already. And uh, we are going to work very close with them to project the film. We don't know if I tell you how much uh, advantage for the state to have a film festival. I can go on and on and on. But the most important thing, one, training of other youth in the film industry. We want the way our is happening, the way Lagos is happening, the way is happening, let's start happening in Aumaya, Aba, and all the areas, and Ohafia, uh, and our uh, small London, remember? And I don't know who's going to do a movie on that. Who said that? Come over here. Come over here. Come here. Come, 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 come. Come on, don't be shy. Please, we are brothers and sisters. We are going to, we are going to do great things in the state. Don't be shy to say what you know about your area. Have you watched the film Wakanda? Uh, that um, Black Panther. Who watched the film Black Panther? Huh? I'll ask you one question. That waterfall, do you know where that waterfall is? What is this? You don't know? That waterfall is between the boundary of Argentina and Brazil. And after that film, people know what happened. And as I think that they did a construct a road towards that place, 
Brazil 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 Station, start start of the start there because people start coming from all over the world to come and see that place. You know, they are now making money from that field because that field protected that environment. It's just that we have the blue river. We can nobody have there's no blue river in Nigeria except here. So if we are going to do, we are going to do some of our activities around that place. So we can produce to the world that look, this is what, how we are blessed. And that will go a long way to bring in tourists to the to other states. That's what the government is planning of an airport. So that what happened to me two days ago will not happen again. They switched me to a airport. I turned down that I can't come to live on my hair. I have to uh, sleep in the hotel before coming. But if he's here, I'll call somebody if he will get them already come and tell me from the airport. So why do we need proximity to others? Because of platforms like this, or people will be coming from US, Germany, Poland, okay, Europe, America, South America, Africa, and Asia. They will be coming here. We have all a lot to show them. So my name is Zine, aka Zine, and I'm so happy to be here today. I'm very, very much happy. And I want to say um, this um, Abia International Film Festival is one of the best things that has ever come to happen for the now. Let me say it. It's one of the best things because we have a lot of talented people here in Lumaya that their talents are dying. A lot of talented people that are good in acting and other things. So thank you, Dr. Alex, for bringing this opportunity in Abia State. God bless you. You don't mess with the press. We are very proud of you, and we hope that our message will get across to the world before friends of the world. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you all that graced this um, convention this morning. Um, as we come, the Lord will take us back safely in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much. My name is Dr. Alex Elewa. This is Abia International Film Festival. The unveiling and press briefing of Abia International Film Festival. We have said a lot about the project. The project has just kicked off today. It's all about film festival. It's all about, we're talking about culture, Abia culture, Abia heritage. We'll soon be showcasing this. We'll soon, there will soon be a, a date that will be announced for the event proper. The event will be coming on on October. 2024, that the date to be communicated to the press. This is Abia International Film Festival, and it's an Abia affair. Yes, when when we are doing any other film uh, project, it can be open for other people from other states. But this particular project is for Abia State, for the youth of Abia State. What we want to achieve is to is development, is youth development and empowerment. We need to empower our youth. If you go on the street, you see that there are youths that are taking other things into mind. Many are going into fraudulent activities. There are many talented youths in Abia State. There are many that are talented in different media platforms. But they are looking for opportunity like this to be able to explore what they have. So we are giving opportunities. We are going to give opportunities by the support of the government. We are going to give opportunities for the youths to be trained. We are hoping to train up to 5,000 Abia youths in different media platforms. My name is Hope Obi Mopara, Abia's International Film Festival, the festival director. Uh, just like uh, the president said, the essence of having Abia State International Film Festival is to uh, use the film festival, bring in uh, contemporaries in the film industry around the globe to come here to premiere their films. Number two is also to use this platform to um, train Abia youth in different areas of film production if you're not gifted to face the camera you can go into cinematography go into um being a director there are people who knows how to write then you teach them what is called script writing there are a lot of other areas of uh, filmmaking outside the stars you see on the screen most time the start just come to deliver but there are people working behind to make sure that the film is good so these are the uh, specific reasons where Abia International Film Festival was formed. Secondly, we're going to have representatives in various local governments because we're going to do um, a search for talent. We're going to do a talent hunt 
so that we can develop our film industry. Just like the way you see people shooting in areas like Asabainubu everywhere, people will start coming to Abia State to, to shoot. And we have um, good film locations in Abia State. We need to use, to, we use, we need, use uh, this uh, film festival to explore all those locations and uh, try to encourage people to come and shoot in Abia State. And it gives a lot of chance of job opportunities because the man cooking, doing as a book idea, cooking food side, we have a lot of artists to feed and to make money out of it. So the hotels are everywhere now. So hospitality business will boom. Then also, uh, just like I said during my speech, that the, gov the governor is about to establish a film village and this will attract a lot of, a lot of film uh, studios to the state. So a lot is going to be gained by having uh, the International Film Festival. And uh, currently now, we are, our website is on. So the, the whole world will start seeing, seeing us now that such a film festival is going on. It's, it's also going to be a, pro, a, a platform to project the image of this state and the, our rich cultural heritage. Abia International Film Festival means, International Film Festival means submissions will come from Europe. Maybe you didn't get that, probably it's talking about uh, development in terms of training. A film festival project the stage because you are going to get submission from Europe, America, Africa, South America, Asia. So every film filmmaker around the globe is free to submit his film or her film or her project to the film festival we just unveiled today. All I can promise you is that we are going to have film from all the continents of the world. Well, um, sustainability plan is that we are looking for partnerships from corporate organizations. There are so, so many organizations that use the CSR to support youth development. Some, some NGOs can even do that. The government in particular will do that. I'm telling you that Abia State, this film festival will be a platform to attract visitors, filmmakers around the globe, and also use it to promote our tourism destinations. The attraction of a state is part of, this is why we are coming here. So we are we establish uh, the film festival. It, it, it's a platform that allow cultural exchange, and uh, like we have announced it now, people are, will start looking forward to come to other states, especially the things we have mentioned already. So we, this platform will help to attract our even Nollywood stars to be part of to start coming here, coming home. A lot of them are there. Are people like uh, Les Kubo, um, Ake. Aki from, from Uzakole. A lot of people don't know that Aki is from Uzakole. So they will start coming, coming here. All of them are coming during the inauguration, the, the first edition. This is just a, a press briefing to open, announce the film festival. We are going to invite Abia State professionals to be part of the training of Abia Youths. Don't worry, we'll get there. We just started. My name is Sahami Flandovici, but I'm popularly known in the Nollywood industry as N-Degree. And... Uh, by the special grace of God, I am the National Vice President, Creative Designers Guild of Nigeria, and uh, the coordinator of Abia International Film Festival. Um, high profile actors, you know, uh, you know, filmmaking has gone beyond what we all used to know. So it's getting to the next level. And uh, as it's this right now, Abia is prepared. This ground is prepared, the state is prepared. Sure, uh, when we said international, of which you know what it means, we, we look forward to such collaborations and uh, contacts are on the way. And uh, we are making a, a frantic effort to make sure we, we expand our scope for you know, international collaborations because Films we're expecting in these international film festivals are not just films from other states, films from outside this federation. My name is um, Chinon Sophie Ibabuchi, and uh, I am Abif's creative writer and a team member. Well, I have been writing for years now, and my area of specialization is on growth and empathy because I am an empath. So my writing is going to be effective in every area. And in this abyss, we are writing, we are about writing something great. 
something that will exceed Abia State. And we are making every effort to make sure that Abif is heard through my writing and my pattern of writing as well as a poet. Well, every writer to his own, his or her own pattern, and the criticism is allowed. You cannot just please the world at large. So whatever you are doing, you should be open to criticism. And in every writing, there must actually be, be there must actually be loopholes. And in that area, you have to, like I am a proofreader and an editor. So before I'll be able to bring out anything to the outside world, I will make sure I take my time to proofread, edit, and go through it before presenting it. But however, if any, if any criticism comes up, I would know how to adjust and handle it and take corrections as well.